This video will show some of my experience using an expanding foam product that I bought from Home Depot. I decided to use this foam instead of concrete just to avoid some of the, the mess and the hassle of mixing concrete. And so here we're looking at the portion of fence I'm installing. And we can see that the holes have already been augered. The posts are in place. They are standard 4x4 pressure treated. They are staked and braced to keep things level and straight throughout the day. And so this is the product we'll be using. It's called Post Fix, made by a company called Sika. And it comes in a bag that looks like this. And the idea is that there's two ingredients inside separated by this seam. And when you're ready to pour, you roll up one side of the bag and apply a little bit of pressure and it pops that seam in the middle and allows the ingredients to mix. And so prior to doing any of that, you probably want to prepare each of your posts by pulling back any loose soil just to avoid any of it falling in and mixing in with your foam. Another tip you may find valuable is that this foam can be rather sticky and if it happens to spill on the post above ground level uh, you may see that when your fence is is complete and so to avoid any sort of mess that you may encounter grab a couple two liter pop bottles from your house and cut the ends off with scissors like this and the idea is that we're going to use this middle portion as a plastic sleeve to protect the portion of post that we don't want to get foam on. And so you cut up the side like this and that just allows you to slip it over the post. And we ended up making two of these. And so when you're ready to pour you can put one around the front like this but it leaves a little opening so you put the second one around the back and put it around ground level. You can eyeball it. And so we're ready to pour our first hole. So you roll up the side of the bag with the arrows on it and apply a little bit of pressure with your hands. And you can see that seam inside burst. And so now the, the two ingredients are mixing. And I believe the bag says you have to mix for 30 seconds. So you want to make sure you have someone standing by with a watch that can tell you when to stop because if it starts expanding inside the bag, you might be in trouble. So once you're done mixing, you grab your scissors and make sure you really mangle the corner of the bag like that. That's important. And so you do want to work somewhat quickly. Start pouring as soon as you can. And keep in mind that you want to pour evenly around the whole post. sort of see it's already thickened up, squeezing out that last little bit out of the bag. And so this next portion is sped up just to show you how quickly it goes. So this is probably over the course of between two and three minutes, which is what it says in the bag. And that worked out nicely. And if it doesn't come up all the way, that's fine. You can always top it up afterwards with another bag. So here's an example of another hole we did. So I spilled a little bit on the soil there. This one also didn't seem to come up as far as we needed, so we topped that one up at the end as well. And actually this is the this is the end of the job. So this is the bag that we used to top up all those holes. So we didn't quite use all of it. And it just sort of oozed out of the bag after I put it down. And so this is just a demonstration showing how dense the foam is. And this is about the extent of the cleanup that you have at the end of the day, which is great if you're used to working with concrete. 
And so after all that work, this is the finished product. It's just a short length in my backyard to fill in between two other neighbors' fences. And it went really smoothly, and I would definitely recommend the foam to anyone building a fence. So I hope this has helped you, and thank you for watching.